Worldworker Kid here with a new video. Uh, we're going to make a gun today. Um, all you need is 2x4 two and 2x2. Two two. Here I'm cutting. Uh, I didn't have the, my miter my miter saw wasn't working at this time, so I was using the hand saw. First, we're cutting the main body, the 2x4, um, measuring from one end, 13 and 3 eighths. You can make it 13 or whatever. Uh, but I choose 13 and 3 eighths for, you know, average teen body or whatever. Um, I'm using this um, square trick that I made made up, well, that I know. Again, using the cobalt. Uh, this is going to be a long video, so. When you're watching, if you're watching this video, skip through the parts and, you know, make it and whatever. But... Some of these partings are reporting, um, showing how, showing how you're gonna cut in and everything. Um, again, my miter saw wasn't working at this time, so I'm just using a hand saw. Oh well, this whole thing was made. Uh, this whole thing was cut by just my hand saw. Uh, you're gonna need if you can stop the. Um, Now I'm almost there cutting it. As you can see, it's more than halfway. Uh, it wiggles too much. I shouldn't. And that. Oh yeah, my camera fell. Now it it gives rough edges. You want to sand the edges. As you can see, it's over. It's 13 and 3 eighths. Now we're gonna make the handle, the barrel, out of two out of the two by two, and I'm just cutting off this hole right here to make as the kind of barrel. Now I switched the plans for it. The barrels, the length of a barrel is um, two inches, but you can make it more again. You can make it longer or however you want it. And just cutting it, um, showing off its. I didn't make good cuts, but it was good enough. I wanted to skip the video to you guys. Now, f now we're making the handle. The handle is kind of tricky, especially especially when you attach it to the gun. Uh, cut the hang handle at. Actually, I'm marking the handle. Marking the handle at four. The handle is four and four and a half inches long. But first, we're gonna have to. Now, I'm marking all sides to um, give the handle the shape. When you make a handle for like guns and weapons, you want to make it round and comfortable for your hands. So, I'm using a chisel just to round over the corners and also sandpaper. Now, if you don't got a chisel, um, you can use a utility knife. I'm showing it off here later. You can use a utility knife, and that's that's how I originally uh, made handles for swords, and it got pretty good. As you see, I'm taking a lot of material, rounding that side, rounding the corners, so it can make make a good, perfect handle. Make sure not to cut yourself at this process. You, I cut myself a couple times, but not in not in this time. Especially with the utility knife, you can get cut with that easily if you don't concentrate and be careful. Now you see the, it's almost done. Just taking chips. As you see, there's a knot right there, and so it's kind of hard to cut through that. Now this is a reclaimed 2x4, as you see like one, two or three sides of it is uh, coated with uh, red red paint. Again it's reclaimed. Uh, most of the 2x2, two two I ha well all of the 2x2 two two I have, I haven't bought, it's just all reclaimed. So I still have enough for other projects that I can do. Now if you want to make, if you want to keep on making this type of gun and sell it, then go ahead. 
If you want the plans, contact me. If you have any troubles with it, contact me. Again, as I said, using the utility knife. Again, it's kind of gotta be careful with it because the utility knife is very sharp, sharper than my chisel. But it's good to have to do this kind of work. Now again, as I said, the tricky part of cutting the hang handle, you can't screw from the way bottom of the handle into the gun. So I made a 30 degree cut with the speed square. If you, I'm probably gonna have to make a video about making angle cuts with the speed speed square. Now cutting with the speed square again, you gotta cut uh, down. You gotta cut at the right spot too. Now you're gonna have to cut a thir uh, 30 degree angle also for the mag of the gun. Well, the mag of the gun doesn't really come out and come in. It's just a, you know, what a gun. See, I got it perfect. A uh, nice 30 degree cut. Again, the handle. And you see the setup I made, 30 degrees. Now here's the mag, the magazine for the gun. Again, it's just real easy. You just have to make one cut in 30 degrees. Nothing special to make for the mag. Just have to make a good, uh, again, first you're gonna have to measure how much, how far. It's um, seven inches long. Or, you know, you can customize it and whatever. And I'm trying to set it up for a 30 degree cut. Tried 45, no, didn't work, not good. 30 degree cut is um, the right thing for this. That's what I think of it. At the restart, I'm trying to get it perfect so I can cut it with my hands off. Clamping it down so the piece won't move. I realized it was the wrong way to put a 30 degree. I was trying to make it uh, more comfortable to cut it, but it didn't seem out well. So just had to flip it and make the angle. Clamp it down so you can get a good cut with it because it's going to get it hard if you hold it with your hand and at the same time cutting it with the handsaw. Sometimes it's hard to sometimes it's hard to start these cuts, especially with these uh, push saws. Um, gonna have to make a video of that. It's sliding side by side with the sweet square. I see it's easy, just one cut. Now, 
Now, this is the body again, the, the 2x4 that I cut. Now, I'm measuring from 6 inches to make the handle in the front of the gun. Giving it a rough shape. It's kind of a short gun, but, but it's still kind of heavy to certain, to little kids. Drawing the line and seeing, seeing where to take material to round over the front of the gun to make the handle. Now I'm using a chisel, but you again, you can use your utility knife. Just have to be careful about it. And have to take that over. It's better to do it on the vise as I did before, as making the handle. Now, if you don't know what a utility knife is, it's a bunch of, uh, box opener knife, cutting open knife, whatever. So people think it's just to open boxes. To be honest, a utility knife can do more than just open boxes. I draw on the line to again make a handle for it. Put in in kind of an angle. You can, uh, again, if you don't know how to do that, just contact me or make a video, a little video about it or whatever. Can, uh, have to use uh, just a drill bit and a single counter. Now, uh, that for the mag and the the way it needs. Two and a half screws. Matter of fact, you just need three two and a half screws for mostly everything. Um, again, the handle, the handle has a bit of an angle. Side by side is call advice, is very handy for what I'm doing. and One product I got it from the counter sink. Now I see I'm have done the counter sink. Now we're just uh, putting all the pieces together. It's it's four pieces at total. You can sand it, paint it. Don't paint it black or any type of gun sim similar similar to a gun color because if you take it outside the police might get you or something like that just don't paint it don't paint it black or kind of military green or something like that now that's the barrel or tip of the gun uh, you're gonna need a again three two and a half inch screws drywall or wood screws or exterior screws. I'm pretty much using wood screws, but the cheapest one is uh, drywall. And they're, they're not bad. You just gotta make a. Be careful if you get. But since it's a soft wood, it won't split that easy. Now, I'm going to my vise. Now, don't do what I just did right here. Measure from one side to. Now, you know where, okay that's the the handle, measure, you put on the handle first, then the mag, you measure from, you measure from one 
and a half from the beginning, the front of the gun to from the sideways where the handle is, and then that's where you glue in the. And you see, I measure wrong. Yeah, I was kind of doing. Uh, it was kind of a fast thing. Again, you put the handle first with a two and a half inch screw. I uh, glued it wrong, but even though I glued it wrong, um, glued it wrong, it was still at the wrong location. Now, there's no clamping way you can do this. You're just gonna have to hold the the handle and just screw it in. Make sure the handle 30 degree is flush with the side of the gun. If not, it's, the glue is not gonna stick to it because pretty much the glue is doing all the strength work. As you see, it's wobbling. You're gonna have to push down the, the handle, take it out, take it in until it won't move side to side or up to down. Again, you see it's still moving. There's a gap. Don't need a gap right there. Clean off the excess glue. I see it's almost done. You need to put the mag on. Now you see where the beginning of the handle, beginning of the handle, glued from right there. I didn't again. I didn't measure it back right, so I had to put it where the I had to put the mag where the handle is. It's not, that's not where it's supposed to go. A beginning of the handle, as you see, uh, you're supposed to screw it in again with a two and a half inch screw. Uh, you see it's not in the right location and it won't have a good um, good glue and surface because it's not in the right spot. One, one screw is good enough for this. It's just if you put glue and if it's tied in there. And you see it's done. Again, if you have any problems or anything, contact me, comment, or whatever. Well, pretty much in the comment section, and I'll probably make a side video about the gun and how to do it and whatever. Showing it off, it's a short gun, but pretty big and meaty. Uh, it's not bad to play with, not bad for little kids, but it's kind of heavy. This is Woodworker Kid signing out.